Research complete. Hello friends, my name is Pradeek Kumar. Let's start a new series about the Labby plus Python. Okay, this is the tutorial number one and uh, step by step we are learn from basic to advanced. Okay, now first you need to uh, install a uh, Python 3.6. Okay, and uh, let's I will tell you about where you can find. Okay, search Google. Okay, and you need to search here download Python 3.6 here. Okay, first link click to this one okay uh, scroll down and you see there have option about the files there are lots of files as per your system requirement you can install okay and i already installed this one window 86 executable install this one click to this one and it's easy to okay. download and okay. please remember i already installed this one when you click to this one and it's ready to install wait a few second yes now you see i already installed and uh, in the starting uh, in the downside have one option about the add path please click to add path and click to install it's easy to install without any a uh, problem okay okay now and i close this one because i already installed now close this one uh, i yeah, yeah, cancel yes and close this one okay now let's come on the live view and very important second step right click here go to connectivity and you need to search this python if you don't know about how you can uh, download this library then uh, comment i will uh, try to create a new video about how you can download this library okay now let's start first what you do first you need to create a single project okay this is our lab view and python now you need to save this one let's i'm save this one and please create a one separate folder for easy to remember okay and i already created here uh, uh, this python youtube okay this one python tutorial one live view click to this one and i save in this area okay now i'm click to and i went here uh lab view and python vi this one okay and click to okay <coughs> okay it's save now let's uh, go to folder and check yes it's save lab view python vi okay now okay. what you do let's you need to create a one folder i already created python code and path because it's very easy to learn step by step okay i already created and in this folder we create a python file or python okay. program now okay. what we do let's search here python python ide this one okay now click to open okay now go to file and you need to click to new file here this one let's i close this one okay and first what you do save this file click and save please uh, save and folder um, i already created a folder d and have a lab view uh, yes next one is uh youtube and next one is uh this folder python youtube okay in this folder i already created python tut1 and this one python code and path okay now let's amend here a name uh that is uh add uh, or we can say uh python python add one like this okay and click to save okay and you see uh, file save in uh, this folder this one python code and path okay yes now let's we enter a simple code and uh, that is let's uh, i'm create a one variable or we can say a global variable that is out put output okay enter and we need to create a function using the def parameter def and i'm enter the name of the function that's i'm enter here uh, lab view this one okay in the function this one and you need to give the a uh, parameter in this function let's uh wait okay now let's i'm enter here uh input one and input two input like this one input one comma input two these two parameter pass in this function lab view let's i'm enter here output okay equal to we need to add this input one and input two that's why i'm at here input this one sorry input one plus input two this one okay now we need to enter or return okay return in okay the in the uh, return you need to enter the your output okay that's why i'm at here out put because uh this input one and input two total sum uh save in this output that's why i'm 
choose this out we can see in live view okay now this one okay uh, let's save okay click to save okay everything is done and please remember this function live view okay now close this one everything is done and a very important thing okay go to live view this one and uh, create a one file click to new vi okay this file is uh, for give the path of our python that's why file and click to save and go to python code and path this one and you need to save here okay i went here uh, python path this name okay and click to okay yes now first let's work on this one okay uh yes press control t yes okay now what you do we need to give the python file path okay how we can do this uh, right click here go to select v uh, sorry uh, go to file io pin this one okay and choose strip path second is build path okay and next one is go to file constant and you need to use this current vi let's i'm select this one right click go to visible label okay. this one this one is now this one and connect to this path okay this one is your current vi path where you save this project okay this path location sent to strip path and this strip path give to build path okay base path very important okay and very important this one is name or relative path okay we uh, in this folder have a one file that is our python file okay and we need to save or we can say we need to create this location okay now uh, you see this python okay in this folder then uh, we need to create here right click create constant and enter the this name python uh, python and add one this one okay, give the extension dot py python yes everything is done yes now right click here and create indicator this one okay now uh, this uh, vi is complete and it's give the path of our python uh, python file okay now let's click to run and see the output okay you see d live view youtube python youtube python two to one live view python code python and python add this one is our python file okay everything is done now let's modify and uh, okay now let's modify okay now you see it's uh, uh, looking perfectly now what you do let's change the icon double click to this one okay now uh, go to layer and click to this one first delete this one okay and create a uh, one box like this yes now go to text uh, icon text and you need to enter here any text like i went here python okay python path this one okay and i meant here text that is 3.6 okay and click to okay and you see python path 3.6 okay very important uh, sorry yes very important and you need to give the terminal output terminal because we need to use this path then what you do you need to click to this one last one and press control and click to this one okay now this uh, this one is assigned to this output because this one is output okay and you see now save this again file sorry file and save yes now close or you can see this one yes done close this one okay okay now let's come on the final uh, uh, final project and that is live view plus python okay and please go to folder and see everything is done and go to python code path and you see python this one and this one is file yes everything is done now we need to enter the code in live view python va final code okay now let's minimize okay right click here go to connectivity and use uh, click to python pin this one okay now click to uh, drag open python session this one next python node next one is close python this one yes now close this select and let's uh, modify yes okay now what we do first select this one right click visible item label okay this one is open python and you see they have python version which python version you need okay in this uh, or we can say in the live python you need to use 
3.6 python version okay and then what you do uh, right click here and create a control this one okay and you need to enter the python version 3.6 like this okay let's um increase okay this one is our python version yes next okay next one is this session out and you need to click to session in this one next one and you see this one is module path this one is very important you need to give the path of your python file okay that's why what you do right click here and go to vi and this one we already created here python path okay please remember we already created in this folder python path click to this one okay and you see we already created here and click to append path and connect to this terminal this one is module path okay because our python file in this location next next is function name and remember function our function name is live view create constant or we can say create control this one is our function name okay let's i'm enter here function name is a uh, lab view this one okay uh Uh, let's again check go to file and python code this one uh, click to edit ideally this one and see the function is lab view l is capital yes now close this one okay and minimize yes done l is capital okay, okay and you need to connect to the written type and our written type is integer now uh, right click here go to numeric and click to this one okay and connect to this terminal okay now this you see okay you can easy to give the inputs here okay i have two input input one and input two now what we do uh, right click and go to uh, silver let's i'm choose numeric constant this one okay i'm at here input one or we can say uh, user input input one yes uh let's increase next one you need to create user input to this one yes and uh, first terminal you need to connect to first input parameter second terminal you need to connect second this one let's modify clean a wire clean a wire yes please clean up the uh, program okay this means function name python yes now okay then this session out to session in and this one is written output this one is your output right click and create indicator this one this one is your output okay or we can say written out okay let's or uh, let's say i'm at here output okay, this one is name output python output yes now let's uh, modify right click go to uh, silver and uh, this one and you need to connect this box click to this one and uh, go to back ah, yes okay everything is done now let's click to run okay it's uh, give some error that is module path this one 
python name is lab view and class name output is not defined okay name output is not defined okay now click to stop okay. now let's uh, go to uh, your python right click ideally this one python code and see output okay uh, yes yes output you need to give which uh, variable integer string or which one okay that's why i meant here uh, in the starting zero okay again save close minimize now let's again run okay yes now it's working let's i'm entering the value i'm entering here 10 20 okay and click to run and you see 30 okay you see now let's again change and uh, what we do uh, let's i'm click to continuity run and i'm entering here 30 okay and you see 50 you see it's working perfectly okay when i change the live version let's i'm give the example and it shows some error or let's i'm enter here 2.7 okay and click to run okay it's you see it gives some error okay stop and please that's why please uh, install 3.6.1 version sorry 3.6 sorry this one and click to run and you see it's perfect working okay i'm enter here like 10 31 or we can say 5 10 5 15 click to run and you see how to 15 okay guys and uh thank you so much if you like this video please like and subscribe our channel thank you so much guys